page 48 Robinson Crusoe discovers a footprint Robinson Crusoe's ship had been destroyed by the sea he had been alone for many years and longed for company one day he discovers a footprint on the sand let's find out what he did then one day when I was going towards my boat, I was surprised to see the footprint of a man on the sand. I stood amazed. I listened. I looked around me. I could neither hear nor see anything. I went up higher to look down. I went up the shore and down the shore, but it was no good. I could find no other footprint but that one. I went to it again to see if there were any more footprints and to tell if it had been my imagination. But I was not mistaken, for there was exactly the print of a foot. Toes, heel, every part of a foot. I could not imagine how it came there. I stayed alone. Page 49 Page 50 At last, I returned home very frightened. Looking behind me after every two or three steps, mistaking every bush and tree to be a man. When I came to my cave, which I called my castle, I ran inside it as if I was being chased. I do not remember whether I used the ladder or went in by the hole in the rock, which I called the door. Page 51 I ran for cover, faster than any animal could run. I did not sleep that night. The more I thought about what I had seen, the more afraid I became. I thought it could be one of the savages of the mainland who had wandered out to the sea in a small boat. Luckily, I was not on shore at that time. But what if he had seen my boat? If he had seen the boat, he would have realized that someone lived on the island and would soon return with others to kill and eat me. And so I lay fearful for many days and prayed for protection. In doing so, I was much comforted and began going out to investigate. But even now, as I went forward, I looked behind me frequently because I was still very frightened. However, as I went about for two or three days and saw nothing, I became a little bolder. I decided to go down to the shore again and examine the footprint once more. I decided to measure it with my own footmark. As I came closer to the footprint, I realized that it could not be my footprint because I had not come to this part of the beach since a long time. Secondly, as I placed my foot alongside that footprint, it seemed larger than my own. My fear returned. I went home again, believing that there was someone there. The island was inhabited. Adapted from Daniel Defoe's Robinson Crusoe Page 52 New Words Savages Wild People in Primitive State Mainland Large Continuous Extent of Land Wandered Go from place to place without a definite route Bolder More Confident Inhabited Occupied, dwelled in. Let's read. 1. What made Robinson Crusoe think that the print on the ground was a footprint? 
too. Why was Robinson afraid when he looked at the bushes and trees? 3. Why did Robinson pray when he saw the footprint? 4. Choose the correct answer. 1. Robinson ran back to his home as fast he could because he A. Was racing B. Was afraid C. Was in a hurry to go home 2. He could not sleep because A. There was an animal outside his cave B. He thought savages had come from the mainland C. His bed was uncomfortable. 3. Why was Robinson Crusoe sure that it was not his footprint? Page 53 3. Why was Robinson Crusoe sure that it was not his footprint? A. It didn't look like a human footprint. B. It looked smaller than his. C. He had not come to this part of the beach in a long time. 4. Where was Robinson Crusoe? A. On a boat. B. In a town. C. Alone on an island. D. On an aeroplane. Let's talk. How would you feel if you saw unknown footprints outside your front door? If you were alone at home, and suddenly someone knocked at your door, what would you do? Let's write. 1. The words in the sentences are jumbled. Write them in order. One is done for you. 1. Alone was not Robinson an island on. Robinson was not alone on an island. 2. Was island the Inhabited. Blank. Page 54. 3. Footprint to someone this belonged. Blank. 4. I around me looked. Blank. 5. I went the towards footprint large. Blank. 6. Was Afraid I now. Blank. 2. Fill in the blanks with the correct word. And, but, because, so. 1. I was frightened. Blank curious. 2. I decided to go to the beach. Blank. I went along the water's edge. 3. I ran as fast as I could. Blank. I was frightened. 4. I was very tired. Blank. Confused. 3. Write a story on strange footprints. Where did you see the footprints? What sort of a day was it? Did you see them at night? What happened when you followed the footprints? What did you see? What happened then? Provide your answer in the space provided. Page 55 4. Use the joining words given below and join the sentences in column A and B. Or, and, so, but, because. A. 1. I can sing well. 2. She wore a raincoat. 3. We may go to Shimla. 4. He wanted a book for his birthday. 5. He missed the school bus. 6. I wrote the letter. B. I forgot to post it. It was raining. He was late to school. We may go to Darjeeling. He wanted a football for his birthday. I can't dance at all. For example, I wrote the letter... But I forgot to post it. Provide your answer in the space. Fun time! 1. Look at the footprint shown here. Hint. 
This is the footprint of the first man on the moon. His name was blank. Page 56. 2. Let's create a pyramid. Use the following clues. 1. A two-letter word beginning with B. 2. A three-letter word beginning with C. 3. A four-letter word beginning with D. 4. A five-letter word beginning with E. 5. A six-letter word beginning with F. Let's work in pairs. Have a conversation with your partner based on the picture below. You can start as... Hunter 1. Look at the footprints in the mud. Hunter 2. Blank. 